president at the dedication of what will be a cornerstone in the foundation of our children's health for many generations to come. The first of many, I hope. Say it, Coach. I need you immediate extract. I say it again, immediate extract. We can get you sick right now, Madam Vice President. sector reported an unidentified aircraft estimated at one kilometer in length entered our airspace at 0700 hours, Mr. President. Air assets are already en route. Early reports describe the aircraft as a beehive, sir. Reports. We don't have a visual in here. Negative. Something seems to be interfering with some of our satellite relays. Civilian channels are up. Ours are down. NORAD is trying to get us in the air. As of right now, all we have are eyes on the ground doing their best to forward whatever first-hand intel they can get. Sets at the ready. With a slight provocation, I'm gonna blow this thing from the sky. Is the Vice President of Virginia Bunker? Yes, sir, the Vice President has just arrived. Great. Vice President Lynch, we're 200 feet below the surface in a fully sustainable habitat that can withstand a direct hit from a nuclear warhead. This is Captain Goddard, Bioweapons Division. Vice President Rennie? Captain Goddard. Why is Bioweapons Division here? He's here at the request from the President. Have they exhibited any threatening actions as of yet? No, ma'am. Not as of yet. Tactical Air Command has just relayed that two jets are on approach to intercept the spaceship.
Eyes on reports all of our conventional assets are failing, Mr. President. All of our efforts are failing. It's been attacked. No survivors, including President Oliver. Ari, do you have confirmation? Yes, Vice. Under the Federal Continuity Directive, ensuring the continuous performance of the essential functions of our government during time of war. I will need to swear you in, Vice President Rennie. I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The country is now in your hands. What are your orders, Madam President? to the president's detail?
she just said last week he was still assigned to Oliver. I'm sorry, Kelly. He was a good kid. Break silence. Contact all the militia chapters. We're going to war. Assets having any success? Negative, President Rainey. They've all failed. Same with the other nuclear nations. All ordinance has just been frozen. Okay. Stand down from DEFCON 1. Go to 2. <clears throat> Meredith, what are you doing? Our nuclear assets aren't working, Randall. Well, well we can't stop trying. It's not working, Randall. And the more we try, the greater the potential we destroy ourselves in the process. The fact that they only disabled them gives me hope. Yeah, Dad. Maybe they felt threatened that our jet fighters approached. They, they may have, son. But the fact remains, they attacked... We're receiving a transmission. It's... It's coming from the hive. Put it on. People of the third planet, we shall refer to ourselves as Orions. As our planet resides in a solar system much like your own, within the constellation of stars you call Orion, it is not our intent to destroy you. Our mission is one of peace. But your race is a violent one. And for this reason, we must guarantee our safety. Therefore, we have eliminated the threat of your nuclear weapons. In the next two hours, all other remaining military installations and government capitals will be destroyed in time. You will receive further instruction. How the hell is that a mission of peace? Ari, was that communication on an open channel? No, ma'am. I tried to place a lock on it, but I was unable to grab it. I want to open a dialogue with them. Make this happen. Yes, Madam President. I need to address the nation. Let the people know what's happening. I need a few minutes to... Compose my thoughts. Dark Echo is still two hours out, Madam President. Thank you. And may we remain ever vigilant and strong. Just as our country has done countless times before, we will get through this. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America. Contai, both British and French parliaments. Thank you. We're receiving another transmission. Can you identify the frequency signature? I'm still trying, Madam President. All governments and military installations worldwide have now been destroyed. You have ravaged your world too long. We will provide you the chance to restart on a new world. Momentarily, transport ships will begin arriving in all capitals and cities, with populations in excess of one million people. Go to them. Everything else will be provided for you. 
You have 120 hours to evacuate your planet. At the end of this period, all remaining humans will be exterminated. You will not survive this. Go. Now. They expect us to evacuate a planet of 7 billion people in just five days. They're out of their minds. People are already lining up to board the ships. You see, it's on my phone. Why would they destroy all the weapons but keep civilian communications open? They're taking prisoners. That's what they're doing. That's 25 confirmed ships so far. Members on alert across Pennsylvania. Let's head into Philly. Will we find the location of the ship? Attack. I've got it. I've isolated the Orion's frequency signature. Okay, Madam President, try to speak at a slightly slower than normal pace. Avoid any overt emotions just because the Matrix may scramble your intentions on their end and spit out the wrong words or symbols. Unfortunately, there's no way to translate our language from our end. I bring you greetings from the United States of America. I am President Meredith Rainey. We wish to open a peaceful dialogue with your leaders. We regret if our initial actions were taken as offensive and caused you to defend yourselves. It was not our intent to display aggression. I request we open a channel of dialogue so that we may convey our desire for peaceful and harmonious relations between our two races. They're responding. You attacked us. Again, it is common procedure to send jets in the air. We are open to dialogue. However, our intent will remain unchanged. You have 100 19 hours in which to evacuate your planet. We are grateful for your help. However, we are a race that is intrinsically suspicious. Therefore, to allay our fears, we need some form of proof to substantiate your claims to aid us. We will prove our intentions by demonstrating our technological and medical superiorities with your race. There are places in your world where people suffer from starvation. We will feed them. Your race is plagued by diseases. We will offer cures. These are with only a few gifts awaiting your peaceful surrender. I don't like America. My 
for us to give up everything? To get on a ship and go to a foreign world? This proves nothing. President Raimi, you have a son. Yes, that is correct. In further effort to prove our intentions, you will go to the transport ship in Washington, D.C. There we will heal him. Heal me? Sweetheart. You don't know what these things might do to you, Bobby. To me? Well, what are they gonna do to all of us? Sweetheart, we can't risk having you part of some e experiment. Mom, if they're not trustworthy, then we're already dead. because unless we know about them, the more strategic advantage they have over us. Sign her first, sir. Check things out. Thank you. 
ship must be equipped with some sort of surveillance. They knew that Godard was armed. Well, they either didn't catch the camera or they didn't mind us taking a peek. I can tell. Remember when I used to pitch in Little League? Of course I do. That was really good. Let's go.
I've got some important other developments that I'd like to discuss with you. Go on. Can we step over there? Very well. All right. Ari discovered an encrypted signal hidden within a natural occurring CMB radiation in deep space. Before the arrival of the Orions, this signal was not being detected. Furthermore, its source of origin is nowhere near the Orions constellation. They're lying. Can we listen in on this deep space channel? We could, Madam President, but not from here. If we can go back to the bunker, I can access it through the mainframe. I can try and upgrade the logic gate matrix and then run the signal through the virtual machine. There's a slight chance we might be able to decipher their language. Slight chance is better than no chance. Let's go. transport ship is under attack, and I have reports of the same thing in Houston and Atlanta. By who? A militia group calling themselves First Earth, and I have reports of riots in other cities. People are pushing past barricades and boarding the ships. What do we know about First Earth? It's a United Militia Front led by Kelly Reed. I know that is. He's Agent Norman Reed's brother, former Army Ranger. Left his service, became a freelance contractor. Now we head to the Pennsylvania Militia, and we're in. Whoa, this thing looks crazy. You sure you can work on this hard? I think so. Mobilize the National Guard. I want this faction taken down now. And I want all hands on deck to keep civilians off those ships. Oh, why? After all, they did heal me, didn't they? Let's not forget that their first move was to destroy the White House. The fact remains they've yet to tell us where they're taking our people. And until they do, I'm not letting anyone oh, on no. those ships. What is it, Ari? 
we have a message coming through from the Orions. What's the problem with that? I don't want to add any stress to the virtual machine. I think we should hear what they have to say. What's the worst it could do? The most simple way is to think of when a wire takes too much current, it explodes. The heat has to go somewhere. The whole mainframe could shut down. They could be launching another attack at the first Earth's antics. Put it through, Ari. Several of our transport ships have come under attack in the United States and suffered damages. It appears people are not being allowed to board our ships. We are prepared to withdraw all extraction efforts and commence with immediate extermination procedures in the United States. We were unaware of the attacks on your vessels. They were committed by a faction outside our government. We will put a stop to them immediately. This is acceptable. You will allow your people to board our ships. No. No, I will not. Not until you tell us where they are being taken. They're gone, Madam President. Reports are coming in from all over the country. People are boarding the ships. After the world saw what happened to Bobby, it's a matter of trust. We won't be able to keep these people off those ships. The mainframe is overloading. The whole system is failing. That's life support. The issue isn't environmental control. The, the, the system is no longer venting oxygen. Well, how long do we I, have? I don't know what's happening. I should be able to... We only have a few minutes before we run out of air. I'm trying to restart the system, but the override valve is jammed. What do we do? Somebody has to go all the way down to EC and fix it manually. Then I can reboot it from here. I know where it is. I'll need all hands just in case. Let's go. Go! You stay. Stay with the president, sir. I'll be back. Bobby!
attacking the transport ships. It's an attack on American soil, Senator. Well, look, I was thinking if we could work together, maybe we could solve this problem. This conversation's over. Uh, uh, Mr. Reed, the President is ordering the National Guard and local law enforcement around the country to shut you down by whatever means necessary. Now, I can call those hounds off if you're halting. Mr. Reed, I think we both have the same goal in mind here. What do you want? Look, there's a great deal of suspicion. Look, there are Ryan's true intentions are. We just, we don't know where they're taking our people, and we, we don't want any more people getting on the ships. So you need some kind of deterrent. Something that will make the people stay away. That's where you guys would come in. Can we do this? We can probably help with that. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm fine. How about you? Did we make any progress? Ari's transferring everything he was able to download before the system crashed. General Roundtree, you were able to relay my orders to the National Guard? Yes, Madam President. scan us. Assuming we make it past the first laser, we'll split up, plant the C4, and meet back here in 10 minutes to dead night. Understood? Thank you. 
There's been another attack on the Philadelphia transport ship. It's first Earth again. Mass casualties this time. Madam President, the Orions are contacting us. Make sure the National Guard and local law enforcement understand their duties, General. Yes, ma'am. Put them on. President Rayleigh, you have failed us. There have been further attacks. An isolated incident. I assure you, it is being dealt with. We are prepared to withdraw extraction efforts and proceed with extermination procedures. Please, do not do that. We are doing everything. They terminated everything. the connection, President Rainey. Position. We are doing everything that we can to suppress the actions of First Earth. Yes, sir. Hold on one second. Minister Brighton, an urgent matter has taken place. I need to call you back. talking without here, Randall. General Roundtree just spoke to the captain in charge of the National Guard detail. They received orders to assist First Earth from you? I, I made a bad move, Mary. I asked them to do what they could to keep people off the ships. Dark Echo has arrived. Easy to follow orders when you agree with them, Senator.
President Rainey, I'm Major Fry. This is Lieutenant Zuber from the 45th Space Wing, Extraterrestrial Avionics Intelligence Unit. We believe this is what we're up against. On August 14, 2003, the sun released a larger-than-normal plasma tendril, resulting in a massive electromagnetic explosion. It downed all satellite, radio, and cellular communications. That's the same date as the East Coast blackouts. That's correct, Captain. It turns out our friend here was paying us a visit as well. What makes you think this is the race that's attacking us? A unique signature in the cosmic microwave background radiation. Our team detected a similar signal when the hive arrived this morning. Our technician, Mr. Ari, has identified a CMB encryption signal. We'll be happy to share that with you. It, we smelled an odor when Bobby was healed on the transport ship. And uh, the guys in the field are smelling something on other transport ships as well. We learned from the Cheyenne ship that that odor is a sort of chemical pheromone. It uh, enables access to vital components of the ship. Our chemists were able to replicate that formula in the laboratory. We call it CH5N. We should be able to use it to access restricted areas of the alien vessels. But it's impossible to say for certain without a more recent specimen. Now, I think it would be fitting for you to use your militia, Randall. I'm sorry. Say that again. And how are we supposed to do that, sir? There was a firefight over the Virginia mountains this morning. If you go digging in the wreckage, you might find a pilot. It could be dead or alive. It makes no difference. Well, I might know a couple of mountain boys. Leave it to us, sir. We'll do our best. We're going to do it. Good. Major Fry, let's get you over to the DC transport ship, see what you make of it. Certainly, Madam President. I've been analyzing the Orion signal from the CMB and comparing it against another signal that I found embedded from the broadcast of the mothership. So far, I've isolated about 30 unique patterns that keep showing up. It seems that this is their alphabet. Impressive work. Cheyenne ship, we tried to broadcast that CMB signal. Controls would flutter like an energy pulse. Didn't get us anywhere. We've had several English broadcasts to line these patterns up against. It's not going to be perfect, but I do have a translator algorithm for us to try and access this database. Fairmont should get us access. Hopefully your alphabet will get some answers. some sort of a weapons detection system. The laser turret enforces a no-tolerance policy. We're not quite sure how they're surveilling this ship. Understood. Let's see what they make of this. Whatever their surveillance, I'm willing to bet with CH-5N, they'll look the other way. Lieutenant. Sir.
Harbor in 03, this ship doesn't appear to be designed for manned flight. Text me your coordinates. I'm sending your chopper to you. We have ourselves an Orion. Dr. Goddard, have you ever done an autopsy? Yes, I have. Carbon-based life form. Oxygen and nitrogen present in their blood suggest they breathe a similar atmosphere to ours. Same alkaline-based cell structure, but with slightly different attributes. The first Earth-captured Orion has a more mesomorphic build, bigger and stronger. Cheyenne specimen, slightly thinner, more ectomorphic. But I'm willing to bet they're both symbiotes of the same colony much like workers to a queen bee.
using the hive to terraform them. Can you find out where they're taking our people, Major? Yes. Trajectory. first goes to the hive. Major, are you sure? Are you absolutely certain no one appears to be getting off at the hive? Yes, Madam President. This has all been downloaded to my PAM. I'll show you when I return. President Rainey, what about the people across the country waiting to board? Across the globe? them board. They're gonna die. We have to tell them. We can't let them board those ships. We can't let them know we're on to them. We've been giving up all our intel. <gasps> Finally, we know something about them they don't want us to know. Have we gotten an update from Captain Goddard yet? I spoke to him a little earlier. He said he's making progress, but uh, he'd prefer to explain it when he returns. We better get back to the bunker. I want to know what I can about that alien. Why are they doing this? This is what I don't understand. Why don't they just destroy us? Why bother with the deception? Less manpower. Less chance of engagement on their behalf. Less loss of men. They're terraforming planets. The more destruction they cause, the more work they get for themselves. Their plan is actually quite efficient, but what I don't understand is why they're returning to the beehive first. We better get back to the bunker us we need to prepare. But we will not give up!
Madam President, I have an idea. It's incredibly simple, but every test I've run seems to confirm it. Have you made an analysis of the aliens? Yes, Madam President. I've mapped most of its anatomy and NS. I believe I can create a highly contagious airborne pathogen, and we can infect them, just like passing on a cold. Do it. Yes, ma'am. Sir, the ships are filling up. People are pushing past the barricades and forcing their way in. Thank you, soldier. You're welcome, sir. What if it's a nice place? The new world they promised. What if it's a great new alien place with things we've never seen? What if we're actually killing people by not letting them board their ships? Do you really think there's a chance in hell of any of that being true? No. This is my home. out there, Major Fry. I'm sorry about the loss of your man. I will see to what he receives the highest posthumous merit. Thank you, Madam President. Captain Goddard, please explain your pathogen. Yes. Well, I've successfully developed an airborne replicating agent called GS-57B. It's cooking right now. It's highly contagious. And I believe if we can introduce it aboard the Hive, it'll be a successful weapon. Could GS-57B have repercussions in humans? Are we at risk for catching it? There is a risk. Now, the contagion can't replicate in our bodies, so it shouldn't be a problem. But there's no way of knowing for sure. I believe we have no other choice. Our only problem is how do we get it to them? How do we infect them? We could outfit the DC transport ship with Captain Goddard's viral agent, send it back to the hive, release it via a time-controlled device. Sounds like a great idea, but why would the hive bring a transport ship back aboard? We infect the navigation system with a bug, make it appear the ship isn't functioning properly. It'll have to go back for maintenance. First there's he's had success just lobbing grenades and C4 timers into the ships, making them return. We can't do that, General. The heat wave from the blast will kill off the viral agent. I'll make a virus to infect the ship's computer. I'll get on it. Thank you, Ari. Yes, ma'am. Captain, notify me at once when it's ready. Yes, President Ray. Launch 
impacts on transport ships in several major cities. Dallas, Atlanta, Miami, Chicago. Chancellor Kafka is demanding you put a halt to the violence, as is Prime Minister Abenir, President Casillas. Let them, Ari, let them say what they will. It's not my concern at this point. Yes, Madam President. Madam President, the captain and I are ready. Is that the contagion? Yes, ma'am. Very well. Let's go. President Rainey, the Orions are contacting us. Put it on. President Rainey, other world leaders have cooperated peacefully. Still, the United States remains defiant. There are continued attacks on our ships. We had hoped to avoid... Turn it off, Ari. Yes, Chrissy. Marie, so far the Pharaoh is still allowing us access to the ship. System. Stand by. The virus is set. Got it. We are go on the GS 57B transponder. is the purpose of this meeting? Despite our warnings, you continue to resist us. Still, we are prepared to discuss the details of the relocation of your people. All right. I will come to you. What are you doing, Mary? It's out of the question. I'll go. We accept your terms. A transport ship will be sent to your location. Thank you. I'll take Captain Goddard's contagion with me. It would be too dangerous, Madam President. No. They asked for me. I'm the only one who can get us on that ship. It's the perfect plan. Oh. 
Major Fry, I'd like for you to come with me. Your expertise may be applicable in some way. Captain Goddard, I request your accompaniment as well. Yes, ma'am. The captain and I will wear the CH-5N to conceal our presence. Very well, gentlemen. Shall we go? Madam President. Guessing yourself, would you, Captain Goodhart? No presenter, right? It will work. Good. It better. One of these is enough? The pathogen is highly contagious. Now Major Fry and I will go aboard the ship and try to put a few of these on there. Give a few to Agent Taylor as well. Aerosols will distribute it throughout the ship, but you have to make direct contact with the Queen. And how long before it takes effect? It should be within minutes. And I'll know? Yes, Madam President. The effects are agonizing. Very well. I guess I'll just try to keep them talking.
was the last of the GS-5s that would be bombs. I'm going to see if I can jam the Orion CMB encrypted signal. Run some ship-to-ship -ship interference in case things go south. On Earth, 
this is the universal gesture of friendship and agreement. You will stop the attacks on our ships.
عطيه